What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my very first ever unboxing video. In today's episode, we are going to be unboxing a brand new Honeywell Garrett GTX 3582 Gen 2 turbocharger. I just want to give a huge shout out to Honeywell Garrett. They've been sponsoring me the last few years. They hooked me up with the brand new Gen 2 turbo. I can't wait to get this in the car and look at uh, how much more power we can make uh, with the new platform. So let's get this box all opened up and see what's inside. As usual with Garrett, everything's packed really nicely and tightly so nothing gets damaged during shipping. Here we have the compressor housing itself, all packaged nicely. And again, this is how it comes brand new when you buy these compressor housing and cartridges from Garrett. So this is the new GTX 3582 Gen 2 and they did a whole bunch of revisions with the Gen 2 from the previous model. Uh, everything from a machine compressor inlet, machine compressor outlet, and they completely redesigned the compressor wheel itself. So the turbo itself flows about 25 to 30% more airflow than the previous model. And in turn, basically what that's gonna do is help the turbo spool up faster and make more power in the long run. Another cool feature about the Gen 2 product line is you can buy these turbos in reverse rotation. So if you're running a twin turbo setup, you can now run two turbos that are facing, let's say, opposite directions where the compressor outlet is facing two different ways. So if you're going to design your setup and you're gonna start running your charge pipes, you know, usually if you run a twin turbo setup with two compressor housings facing the same direction, you can usually have trouble running the charge pipes to one of the two turbos. But now that they have the reverse rotation option, it's gonna make your life way easier to run the charge pipes to the two turbos and it's gonna look more symmetrical and look way cooler in the long run. So all you twin turbo guys, definitely need to get yourself a set of reverse rotation and positive rotation Gen 2 turbos. So another cool feature with the Gen 2 product line is if you're already running a Gen 1 and you want to upgrade to the Gen 2 compressor housing to get the increased airflow and all that, but you don't want to change everything else, the turbine housings are interchangeable to the Gen 2 from the Gen 1. Now the cartridge or not, you have to run the same cartridge with the Gen 2 compressor housing, but the turbine wheel in here will fit on a Gen 1 GTX or even a GT uh, turbo that's the same size. So let's compare the GTX 3582 Gen 2 to the Gen 1 previous design. So here I have my GTX 3582R Gen 1 turbo that I've been running on my car the last couple years. Absolutely no complaints with this turbo. This turbo made a ton of power, completely happy with it. And now we can see the differences from the previous model to the new model. And just by looking at the compressor housing side by side, you can see the difference right away. You know, one of the first things that stands out is the huge Garrett logo right across the top of the compressor housing here, compared to the previous design where it's kind of wrapping around the shape of the compressor housing. But you can also see the redesigned and machine compressor inlet. This one has the machine compressor outlet on it as well. And even the wheel itself again is different. So as I was saying, the turbine housings are interchangeable from the Gen 1 to the Gen 2. I'm running a T3 turbine housing on my previous Gen 1. My downpipe and uppipe has already been designed around the T3 setup. So all I have to do is just unbolt the six bolts on the back of the turbine housing, swap it over, bolt it down, and I'm ready to go and I can mount the turbo back in the car. So the only thing left that I've got to do now to the new compressor housing before I can install it in the race car is I need to drill and tap a hole for my boost port. So I have a boost source to feed my boost control solenoid valve. And of course, powder coat it, this fancy color right here. And with the magic of video editing, I can do all of this just by snapping my fingers like this. And there you have it. The new compressor housing is all powder coated. I have the new boost pressure sensor fitting uh, inserted into the compressor housing. And all that's left to do now is swap turbine housings over from this turbo over to the new one. So that's pretty much gonna do it for the unboxing review video of Honeywell Garrett's new GTX 3582R Gen 2 turbocharger. And I'll drop a link down below in the description if you guys wanna head over to Honeywell Garrett's website to check out all the specs on this specific turbo. They've got tons of other turbos to choose from for whatever boosted application you're trying to build. Also, if you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with the entire build and any other future unboxing review videos that I'm planning to release. Thanks again guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.